Hey, happy Friday to you. Welcome back to the Friday Funnies. Uh, another week of 2021 is in the books, and if it keeps going like this, we're going to need bigger books. For starters, the Mega Millions and Powerball Lottery jackpots are both over $600 million and still growing. This is a lot of money. And I think the government should take a little bit of our tax money that they've been wasting anyhow and buy some tickets. If they won both jackpots, it still wouldn't pay off the national debt, but admit it, a billion dollars is a billion dollars. You can't win if you don't play. And for the second time this year, President Trump has been impeached. Somebody called Guinness, man. This is a new world record. Trump will be leaving the White House in a few days, and he said he's got bigger things to worry about, like where he's going to put his presidential library and what's going to be in it. Well, I think since he needs a place to stay anyhow, his library should be the Donald J. Trump bookmobile, huh? It'll contain the art of the deal and his complete collection of Playboy magazines with the centerfolds intact. It'll be something to see, I'll tell you right now, when it comes to a Walmart parking lot near you. But until that, until that happens, let's review the other stories that have gotten this year off to such a great start. Comedian and actor Ricky Gervais has one wish after he dies. After he turns room temperature, Ricky has asked to be fed to the lions at the London Zoo. Because the zoo is experiencing some cutbacks and he wants to give back. Great idea. Unfortunately, the zoo turned down his request. But, but last week, he got a call from Carol Baskin who said she could make his dream come true. Stay tuned, my friends, for yet another reality show. Friday Funnies fan Jim Clemmer found this week's dumbasses of the week who were also in London. Two burglars, they were aged 49 and 42, they were in the middle of a heist when one of them sat down for a rest. Now he had his phone in his back pocket, or should I say this way, his back pocket, and when he sat on it, he butt-dialed 999, the British emergency number. The police who answered the phone uh, listened in as the two thieves went about their business and talked about what to take, what not to take. They could still hear them when the squad cars arrived to arrest them. Butt-dials, my friends. So much damage. So little reward. You know, I think we're all getting tired of being locked down by COVID-19, and in some areas, the restrictions are stricter than they are in others. For instance, in Quebec, Canada, an 8 p.m. curfew is in effect for all residents, and they have to be off the streets by that time or face a rather hefty fine. The only exception to the curfew is for people walking their dogs. So in Sherbrooke City, a woman was fined for walking her dog after curfew because her, do her dog was, was her husband. She had him on a leash. She was on all fours and the woman was leading him down the sidewalk. She was stopped by a policeman and issued a $1,500 fine for violating the curfew. Then, when her husband started humping the cop's leg, he got fined too. Now, they're both in the doghouse. Hey, my friends, thanks for joining me again on the Friday Funnies. Please feel free to pass these along to everybody you know who could use a good laugh. Please leave us a like. We like that when we get a like. And I'll see you here next Friday.